Good morning. Today we observe the feast of the presentation of the Lord, honoring how Jesus, as a baby, was presented to God in the temple in Jerusalem. This feast reminds us of God's fulfillment of his promises to send a Messiah. Simeon and Anna recognized Jesus as the long-expected hope of Israel. We recognize Jesus as the light of the world, the one who has come to shine his light in the darkness. Please stand and join us in our gathering song, Come Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Well, it's very good to be with you this morning and a very special day today. Uh, we celebrate the presentation of Jesus in the temple. And that reminds us of our presentation in the temple when we were baptized. And so, called together in faith, we, of course, are very happy to have our pastor, Father Ken with us, his assistant, Father Thomas, and then I have a friend of mine, Father Benny, from Nova Scotia, Canada. So he's here a long way. Uh, and then my two holy deacons that are with me now. And so uh, called together now as God's very special people. Let us be uh, reminded of our own sinfulness and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple, in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace may we be presented to you with minds made pure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank 
you, dear. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord who you seek, and the messenger of the covenant who you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure his day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire or like the fooler's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer a due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of the old, as in the years gone by. The word of the Lord. The response is, who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, mighty in battle. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the king of glory may come in. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children share in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he might destroy the one who has the power of death, that is, the devil, and free those who through fear of death have been subject to slavery all their life. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to become like his brothers and sisters in every way that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest before God to expite the sins of people. Because he himself was tested through what he suffered, he is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. 
It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people, Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him, and Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. There was also a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Deacon. So Jesus, born of Mary, and of God came into the world to show us God's love and how much God loves each of us. And today, uh, he was presented in the church, the temple, uh, and his presentation was a special moment for those that we heard in the gospel today, especially that were waiting for the Messiah, the one who would come to save everybody. And, and heal our sins in a very special way. And so both Simeon and Anna uh, were open to God working in their lives. And so when they held the baby and saw the baby Jesus, they knew God had fulfilled God's promise to send a Savior, to send a Messiah to the whole world. And so God's love through him was poured into the world. Now, each of us participate in that kind of a moment when we are baptized. It's a moment when we, all of us, are presented to God in the church. And as the water of Easter, the water of resurrection, is poured upon us, we become sons and daughters of God. God loves us in that moment, and God begins to direct us on a path to him and to share God's life forever. And that's a special gift that he gives to us. And then God shares with us Jesus very personally in his body and his blood. So during the mass, when we ask God to change the bread and the wine into the body and blood of Jesus, God answers our prayer. And God gives us the same Jesus that was presented in the temple many years ago becomes present on the altar. He becomes the bread and the wine for us. And then when we go to confession, receive reconciliation penance, it's a moment for us to receive God's forgiveness. That's why Jesus came, to show us God loves us so much that even when we do things wrong, even when we sin, God forgives us. And God wants to embrace us with his love in a very special way. And so each of the sacraments of the church are moments when we meet the Jesus that walked on the earth, 
The Jesus who suffered for us, gave up his life for our sins, and the Jesus that rose from the dead and ascended to God the Father. And the Spirit of God is then given to each of us through each of the sacraments, especially in baptism and in confirmation, when we're confirmed in the love of Jesus, special. So, I think it's a great morning for us to praise God for what God has done for us, the sending us Jesus and sending us his love and actually making him present with us here on the altar so that when we come to receive communion or a communion prayer, it's a moment when we meet him. So as a group, let me have you stand and all of the adults too. And the adults are going to need to do this with me too. So this is a, this is a time for praising God. So let's praise God and do the actions with me. So praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down, love him. And the hymn is Jesus, by the way. Love him, love him, love him in the morning, love him in the noontime, love him, love him, love him when the sun goes down. So we'll do the name then. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus in the morning, Jesus in the noontime, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus when the sun goes down. One more time, praise him. Praise him, praise him, praise him in the morning, praise him in the noontime, Praise him, praise him, praise him when the sun goes down. Amen. Remain standing and we'll offer our prayers and petitions to our loving God, asking God to hear and answer each of the prayers, each of the petitions that we have. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that inspired by the Holy Spirit with wisdom and knowledge may follow the example of Simeon and Anna in making Jesus and his mission known to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials throughout the world, that they may come to the temple of the Lord frequently to seek wisdom from his word and grace from his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the children of our world, that they may be loved and cherished by their families and by the societies in which they live. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who live under the constant threat of violence and the shadow of war, that all people will turn from violence to peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all young people who are preparing this year for their first Holy Communion or to receive the Sacrament of Confirmation, that they will keep, he will always keep Jesus at the center of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are bereaved and for those who are sick or suffering in any way. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, hear our prayers. And in a very special way as we celebrate your love in this Sacred Heart Church, that your Sacred Heart will draw us in love to your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God's name. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sin. You girls keep serving, okay? Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. For you will that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as the Lamb without blemish who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and the light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation. And with the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he, at the time he was betrayed, he, took, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her now to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Louis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the, kingdom the power, and the glory are now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you too. Deacon, peace to you. Peace, girls. Peace of Christ be with you. Lamb of God, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Ms. Flanagan? Okay. <laughs> we can do it after the prayer, though. Okay. Wait just a minute. Wait. Wait. So let's pray first, and then we'll have Ms. Flanagan come up. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfilled Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, now you may be seated, and now Ms. Flanagan come, come up. Thank you. Good morning, Sacred Heart. Good morning. What an awesome job you did this morning. I think God heard us and was pleased. Thank you so much. Thank you, teachers, for the preparation. Incredible job. On behalf of On behalf of the students, the teachers, the staff, I'd like to welcome Bishop Kinneman, Father Benny, Deacon David Allen, of course, Catherine Lingenfelder, and Juliana. Thank you all for coming. Good morning, Father Kin, Father Dimash, Deacon Goff. Thank you so much for being with us today. It's always such a pleasure every Thursday morning to come together like we come together and to Praise God. It was a blessing this morning. So we always like to give you a little happy. And um, I was told I couldn't give you another T-shirt. So <laughs> we brainstormed, or actually Shannon, my right arm gal, and Juliana brainstormed. And we came up with something special. In the basket is something for the body. You can look at it later. But... We wrote a prayer for you. I thank you, Lynette Villarreal, and the artistic ability of Stephanie Casey. And um, what we would like to do is to pray this prayer over you this morning, yeah. Bishop. If okay. you would come have a seat, students. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the students are going to pray with the bishop, and everybody else can just stand, okay? Stand. Come. Okay. And you're going to raise your right palm toward the bishop in form of prayer. Adults as well. Right hand toward the bishop. Hey, thank you. In a prayer. Yellow Super color. pixies. Put your hands on the oh, bishop. thank you. He doesn't, he doesn't bite. Yay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Heavenly Father, we are grateful Bishop Kinneman is present in our lives leading and guiding us to be the hands and feet of Jesus. May he continue to be a leader of vision and a teacher of your truth. We are blessed to witness his examples of holiness, kindness, evangelization, and generosity. May his virtue and love inspire us to always keep God at the center of our lives and within our school. Amen. In the name of the Father, amen. Son, Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Many you. blessings, Bishop Thank Kenneman. Thank you, kids. Thank you. Give Each of y'all. Thank you. Okay. We can do a little hug from the little super pixie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Beautiful. Thank you all very much. That's wonderful to start the day with prayer from the children and from the faculty and staff. Wow. I'm good for another 100,000 miles. This is good. This is great. <laughs> wonderful. So one of the joys also of being a bishop is I get to bless you. So the Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. 
Bow down for the blessing. May God the Father's love surround you and lift you up in love all the days of your life. Amen. Amen. May God the Son, Jesus, bless your lives and heal your lives and bring forgiveness and peace to your lives. Amen. Amen. May God the Holy Spirit lift you up in love and may you be surrounded by that love and the love of God always. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be God. to God. Have a great day.